All right, so welcome to the channel if you do. If you are an OG, please act like you got some sense in front of our guest. Today's video. Okay, I want to start with something though. We're kind of late to the party, and personally, I don't. <laughs> I wasn't going to talk about it because I think YouTube doesn't monetize beatings. Okay. Uh, Amari on a little fit. No, Amari on. Oh, uh, Mario and uh, Mario mm -hmm. had the verses over. Was that the weekend? Uh, no, it was Friday, maybe. I don't remember. It kind of threw me off being overseas now in the states. <laughs> whatever day it was, whatever. Oh, Mario. Okay, how do you feel about the battle? How did it go for Mario? Oh, Mario got killed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even watch the whole thing. I I tuned into the verses kind of late, mm -hmm. and I think they were like maybe three or four songs. And by the time I tuned in, yeah, but I just felt so bad for poor Mario. Bro, so he was wilding. <laughs> he was wilding. Can we start off with actually? Did you see the before? Because I, I remember sending it to you because mm -hmm. I was like in between appointments or whatever, mm -hmm. and I remember sending it to you, but it was after Sammy and Ray J. And did you ever go back and watch that? Um, not Sammy. You're talking about Jeremiah, right? Wasn't it? No, it was Sammy, Ray J. Uh. Uh, Bobby Valentino and Pleasure P, and I don't even know oh. who was with who. It was like a b battle royale, and I watched it, and I kind of still don't understand. I don't know who was on whose side. Like I don't get it because <laughs> they was all kind of making fun of Ray J. Well, I mean, they probably was just because was this this was before Mario and Omarion went out. Went yeah, out, it was right? like a battle though. They was so all battling. They probably though. was just trying to. Kill some time before they got there because from my understanding they showed up super late no they were the undercard <laughs> so they treated it like a boxing match where you mm -hmm. had your main event and you had your undercard right. they were the undercard they were supposed to be performing not just wasting time oh, okay. so they were actually performing you should go back and watch it i still don't understand what was happening i don't get it <laughs> like i didn't watch the whole thing i saw like maybe like the last 30 minutes of it or something mm -hmm. like that i seen when ray j was singing one wish and was turning up i seen that part and i seen them sort of go off in the corner with singing one wish I saw Sammy talking crazy to, I think, Bobby Valentino. I don't know. I don't get it. Because at first I thought it was Ray J and Bobby Valentino versus Pleasure P and Sammy or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was like a battle royale. Like, if I if I had to make any suggestions versus, <laughs> maybe, don't do that maybe again. Maybe it was just a, like a the, like mini concert. It was acting like it was a versus, though. They were going at each other. Um, well, they was going at Ray know, J. That's why I was confused. Like, don't do that again. <laughs> whatever, whatever it is, like when y'all do the next verses, bro. I don't care if y'all have an undercar in a main event, bro. Don't have that many people on the stage because I and and <laughs> with my brain don't understand what the hell is going on. I don't understand. Even now, I watch it and I don't understand what I was watching. I think it was funny that Ray J was horrible, uh -huh. and he was now to give him credit, right? Because I'm gonna shoot Amari on the same bail in a second. Mm -hmm. They were having audio failure. Mm -hmm. their their malfunction and supposedly i'm not a singer i can't i can't verify this to be true singers have to be able to hear themselves in their ear mm -hmm. to know if they're properly because you you can't hear yourself so i could imagine singing like i could imagine like a deaf person right you hear how deaf people talk yeah. i guarantee you the way that we hear them talk they don't think that they sound like that there's no way yeah because uh, i've 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 been in a studio before i've been in the studio with you actually before and trying to sing when you can't hear yourself in a studio, it's definitely hard because you, you can't really hear if you have the pitch right, especially when you have headphones on. Mm -hmm. So I can I can relate, especially because I'm pretty sure they had like earpieces in their ears. Yeah, you could so, tell. Like you could see when Mario was doing it. And Mar Mario was so dope when he was doing it because you could see him like performing. Mm -hmm. And like if you pay close attention subtly, right, he'll, he'll tap, the, he'll put the mic in his ear. And then he'll see if he can hear himself. And he was dancing. Like, he started out dancing closer to the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then he just yanked it back out and just, like, kept going on what he was doing. And he just played it by ear. Yeah. But um, Marion and, like, Ray J and, like, all these other people, they was, like, keeping it in their ear, just hoping that it would come on. And Mario was like, show must go on and just took it out and just played it by actual yeah. ear. He wasn't deafening himself or, you know, half ass hearing itself yeah. because he just wanted to keep the mic in. Right. So if you got an earpiece in your ear and you're trying to sing over that earpiece, you're not going to hear the right pitch because you're like, you're, you're pretty much deafening yourself. Yeah. So, because I've done that before. So I, I, I get it. And it's like, no, you have to be able to hear yourself if you have something in your ears that's clogging up your hearing. Mm -hmm. But, man, 
I saw the clip of Ray J singing. He's the oh, let me look at her. No, you good. You good. I was looking to see if I had some water in my vicinity because I just got thirsty for no reason. But you can oh. keep going. Um, I saw the a clip of Ray J singing. That was bad. It was bad. That was very bad. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> like he was going it, crazy. It sounded it was, terrible. It's, it, it's it's sad because you can tell that he was really trying. Like he was, he was hurt. putting Bro, his you, all. He into blamed that. it on his kid. <laughs> Like, why was he on stage holding a baby anyway? I don't understand that either. <laughs> like, Ray J. What are you doing, bro? Get a babysitter, bro. I don't care if your girl won't babysit. Bro, you could have had the kids sit on. First off, the kids shouldn't be there anyway. Like, Wait a minute. Wasn't Brandy be, like, behind, like, that? Brandy was there. If that's his kid, that's right. her, her right. nephew. Right. Why You're couldn't right. Brandy hold right. him while you were on stage? Brandy was right there. You're actually right. That makes a <laughs> lot of sense. Because what I was going to say is you actually don't want a kid in that. Like, I've been doing, yeah. like, a lot of... uh audio studies or whatever because the military like they like made a mistake and jacked up our hearing they gave us like hearing protection from a mm-hmm. company that it was faulty so now they advertise all the time oh, really? so i was doing like research on it and it was like above a certain level like it damages your ears like they like going yeah. to concerts are actually terrible if you're somebody yeah. that, if you constantly go to concerts you have irreparably damaged your ear here especially hearing, if you're sitting like really close to the stage yeah hearing is like is is I guess like vision. I think vision works the same way because I kind of have eye con- like uh, pupil damage, mm-hmm. where like once you damage it, it's not going to just heal. Like it's gone. Right. So you have to take care of your ears and your eyes because once they're gone, they're gone. Mm-hmm. You're causing irreparable damage. So kids shouldn't be there anyway. So Ray J, what are you doing? What are you? Doing? <laughs> First off, why is your kid there at the concert? And two, even if you brought your kid there right at one concert, Big Wolf, they've all been around loud music. But bro, why, why are you are holding you a child on stage? Hold him on stage and sing. Bro, and did, when <laughs> when Bobby Valentino and and uh, Sammy was in the corner singing One Wish, and they actually was sounding good, and Ray J was struggling with his own song, I was like, oh my god! Yeah, so I didn't see Bobby V and and Sammy. I only saw the clip of Ray J. Yeah. So, and I didn't even see the the clip of Pleasure. P. It's wild because Bobby V didn't sound that good. Like he was acting crazy. Like he was wilding now, and he was not he was not sounding that great for him really? to be blasting Ray J like that. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. But I will say Pleasure P did his thing. Mm-hmm. Uh I would expect Pleasure P to do his thing anyways, because I just like I just like his music. I'm not right. a hater. Mm-hmm. I like if I like your stuff, I like your stuff. And I really like Pleasure P's music. Yeah. So, I I like Pleasure P's music. I yeah. only heard a couple of his songs when he went solo, but I do like his If music you listen too. to it, you would think that because I think that's the thing with a lot of these verses. You would think that like I don't know a lot of songs about this person. And then they get to perform, you're like, damn. Like when I heard Jada Kiss and mm-hmm. the locks is going against Dipset, mm-hmm. I was like, I think Jada is gonna crush them off his catalog because I can remember some hits. Mm-hmm. But I just can't think of a lot right now. And I can think of some classics from Dipset. Mm-hmm. But I, I was leaning more so my gut told me to go with Jada. Mm-hmm. And thank goodness, because Jada destroyed Dipset. <laughs> but I realized that I went from saying, I don't know a lot of Jada songs to damn, I could recite Jada lyrics for hours. Yeah. It, it's sort of like that with, yeah. with it. I guarantee if you had watched it, you you would know all those Pleasure P songs. I mean, it's possible. Now, but I don't, I don't know. When you get to the main event, okay. Oh, Mario, Mario. Oh my god, <laughs> it's it was bad. Mario is a savage. It was bad, and I love it. He's I love it. He don't call me so Petty Pendergrass for no reason. Oh my god! I love he Petty. Was savage that entire battle. I love it. He was like, but "Yo, y'all I sound agree. crazy." I love. He it. was doing everything that I would do in that setting, and that's why I loved it. Cause, like, bro, if you wild and I, I'm telling you, like, you tripping. Yeah. You crazy. You yeah. wild. Like, yeah. I'm Petty. People that know me call me Petty Pendergrass <laughs> for a reason. And when I seen Mario's Petty come out, I said, "Damn, he got under a Marion skin, and a Marion couldn't even hold it in publicly." Mm-hmm. Like he, like, I'm from, I'm from Crenshaw. You better check yourself. Something like that. He said to uh, Mario on stage, and I said, "Damn, Jesus. Mario's talking like that." Okay, Sue Wu, whatever you is. But that's only because. Omaria likes to toot his own horn. He really does. And it's it this battle needed to happen because Mario seriously humbled him. Yo, or, I, didn't, he, I never well, knew it sh- that. It should have humbled him. But I never didn't. knew that he was like that though. That's the thing, like, cause I don't really follow Omarion. Mm-hmm. So like, I always heard some of his songs. And it was like a few of them I liked. Like a lot of his hits, I didn't like. I don't like. I get it in. I don't like Icebox. I, hate I don't Ice like Box. Touch. I don't like a lot of his hits. I did like a few of them. Obviously, supposed to be. I love O. Mm-hmm. I love. Um, let me right. hold you with Chris Let Brown. Me, yeah, the songs he did with Bow Wow, I love those. Oh, I said Chris Brown. I meant Bow Wow. <laughs> I know what you meant. My mind just registered Bow Wow because I knew what you meant. Um, 
I like a few of his songs, so I feel like he could hold his own. But one thing you cannot do is hide the fact that you can't sing on that stage. Mm -hmm. He sounded terrible. He was a, a goofy nut job the whole time, and Mario was expired. And Mario was a whole, he said, yo, you look crazy out here. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you, yo, he whipped out the watermelon, and Mario was like, oh, nah, this dude crazy. Yeah, this that dude was cra disgusting. That was gross. That was so gross. That was gross. That was and, and the thing is, I don't mind sex, you know what I'm saying, but in my own home. Don't do none of that other weird stuff in front of me. I don't want to see none of that but weird stuff. But even then, it wasn't even like, it wasn't sexy. It was disgusting. I think the goal was to be sexy, though. But it wasn't. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And it's funny because I think the problem with Marion is his culture. The, okay, not his culture. His fan base was teenage women. Mm -hmm. Those teenage women have now, now grown. Those teenage girls, I got to say. Let me clear that up, right? Mm -hmm. Don't want y'all trying to kill me for that. Those teenage girls grew up into be a grown woman. Mm -hmm. Mario grew with his audience. Omarion didn't. Mm -hmm. So that weird stuff that you can pull on stage, grinding and just just whipping your shirt out that'll help you win the stage like you prince or something like that. That helps. Like teenage little girls, they just like older cute cute dudes. Like uh, I mean, pretty for boys. The, for they, the most part, Mario's fan base was the same too though. But he grew. Yeah. You, you listen to the music and, uh, and uh, Mario still has R&B and soul in his music. Mm -hmm. Omarion well, is sort of pop, kitty, like, you know, like, he just singing and doing stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to hate on the song. Some of the songs is dope. Yeah. But you know, supposed to be. Yeah. Come on, like, I, when you I, hear I stuff see, like that. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like, it's there's no maturity there. And it's fine. Some of the songs slap. I ain't going to pretend they don't. Mm -hmm. But you can see. You can see that like, Mario. Ain't, ain't much growth uh, in his bro, Omarion oh, beat his. I mean, Mario beat his ass for old and new. You can tell, because um, so supposedly Mario was on the Millennium Tour, the Millennium 2 Tour, mm -hmm. when they came back, and he got kicked off the tour. Mm -hmm. So he was like, man, I ain't want to be on that janky-ass uh, tour. Anymore. Like, yo. <laughs> yeah. He was going in, and I loved every second. So did you see, apparently at the verses, Omarion was, was talking mess about B2K and how the other guys was his backup dancer. Whoa, did you see the beginning? Did you see the very beginning? No. Yo. <laughs> Mario's like, I got to bring your boys out. You thought you can come in and perform without them. He brought up three dudes in all white pants and tank tops, and they all posed behind uh, Omarion and was like dancing like they was B2K. I said, oh. Because I thought he really brought out B2K. Because yeah. the whole crowd was like, oh, my God. And I'm looking at them dudes like, I'm not the biggest <laughs> B2K fan, but... So I don't like, think Omarion that's Omarion brought them out or Mario brought Mario them out? Mario brought them out. Oh so I'm God. staring at them the whole time like, Nah, because at first I was like, oh, and then I stopped. I was like, nah, if I ask playing tricks on me or something, that's nah, that's not J Bug. Hold on, let me zoom in a little bit. That was the thing he was trolling them, okay. right? But okay. it's funny that he brought that up because Omarion left him out, mm -hmm. and is that beeping? Am I tripping? Yeah, it's, it is something beeping. Okay, but uh, but yeah, Omarion left him out and did just all his songs, right? Mm -hmm. And and to be honest with you, mm -hmm. I think that Omarion would have did a lot better if he allowed B Two K to be up there with him. Yeah, if he would have brought them out, it probably probably would have had better a songs. A little bit. His his trash B list songs. Because the thing is, Omarion hits is Omarion hits. Mm -hmm. I can't take that away. Like I don't like Icebox, mm -hmm. but I can't deny that's a hit. Mm -hmm. I don't like Touch, but I can't deny that it was a hit. It was big. Mm -hmm. But when you get through those hits, of Mario was out. He was struggling, and Mario could rely on like maybe this ain't a hit, but I'm gonna make it hit here. Mm -hmm. And Mario didn't have the vocals to do that, and like he was he was getting slammed. And then he tried to do the the uh, thing from You Got Served. He brought he brought it to people. I was an error. Bring them out. And then he like you know they started coming out. Started you know crumping. I'm just like, bro, you down like like forty <laughs> like. This is the uh, this is like somebody chucking up a three and celebrate like bro you are down forty like I don't care about nothing that you're doing at this point. Right. He should have had B two K with him in my opinion. But he's not gonna do that because you know that whole situation that they have. But what I was gonna say is it's funny that he he did that because Jay Book came back and responded to him. Oh calling yeah, because he was dancing. Yeah, because he was mad because J he um. 
J Boog and just B two K, they was laughing at Omarion mm-hmm. or whatever for him getting cr- like everybody was clowning him, mm-hmm. and they jumped in on it, and he got mad and went after him, mm-hmm. went after them, went after them, talking about they need to get jobs. He heard, uh, what did he say? He heard something was hiring UP, USPS or something like that. Yo, UPS this is the thing that blow me about that. If y'all not cool, why are you getting mad that they have something to say if y'all aren't friends? I could see you throwing a tantrum if these was your homeboys doing this. Mm-hmm. But when Jay Boog or whichever one it was, Rasby, I don't know which one it was. I think it was Rasby because I think they referred to Jay Boog in third person in that thing. I can't remember. Whoever was talking in, in third person, the other members or whatever, they wrote it. And so here's some of the stuff that Amaria has done. Bro, you are a, co- a complete idiot to expect any type of loyalty. Yeah. Now, that, was, little, that was Jay Boog. You smacked that really, really long. Yeah. That was Jay Boog. Okay, so now like... Lil Fizz smashing your baby mama and not caring about you. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. I'm not saying it's right. But again, Petty Pendergrass in me. <laughs> I'm not saying it's right, but I, it makes a little more sense why that bro had that dude has zero loyalty to you. Mm-hmm. Well, he was like, bro, I have no loyalty to you. Your baby mama bad. Your baby mama choosing. I'm going after your baby mama. Mm-hmm. I'm hitting those. Mm-hmm. It makes sense for him not to have that loyalty because... But Mario supposedly been snaking them behind the scenes nonstop. Yep. And them saying that they were singing his vocals? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, well, they said it was it was another guy that was singing his vocals. And apparently, Mario actually said this dude's name on stage. The guy who was supposedly behind all of Mario's vocals. <laughs> Oh my, bro! I didn't. I gotta go back and watch this, it now. This is I, what I heard. I, I gotta go back and watch it. Now. I don't know how true that now. is, but this is like from the comments that I've read on Facebook. Okay, somebody said that Mario I gotta verify this guy this. name. I gotta stage, verify this. So we gotta I, look I, I that gotta, up. Yo, that's but I wanted crazy. to comment on. The re- I said like, I hope this humble Omarion because he likes to make this big wolf that like, oh, I was the biggest member of B two K. People coming to see me. Da da da. To be honest. I was a B2K fan. I mm-hmm. was, you know, the teenage girl. I know, girl because when I had post- that car. Shut up. We, we're not tra- talking about a, that. You put a damn B2K <laughs> CD in my car. I'm like, I get in my car. And I hear Daddy. bump, bump, bump. I'm like, Gee, what is this? It's 2016. Why is bump, bump, bump that in my car? That was not 2016. Well, bro, that was the Nissan Altima. When did we sell the Altima? That was not 2016. That was in Georgia. That that happened. No, nah, I don't know about that. But anyway. Oh, so it was after 2016. No, it had to be before that. It was in Georgia. I don't know about that. Anyways, we're not you talking about that. Bump, we're bump, not bump. talking about that. You put bump, bump, Anyways, bump can I finish my, my point, please? Sean, I just want you to acknowledge you play. You, I got point, in my please. car and heard bump, bump, bump. Can I finish my point, please? Yes, you can, but I just want you to acknowledge that. I'm Diana. not acknowledging anything. But what I'm going to acknowledge is that's, that's I was a B2K fan. I was the teenage girl that had all the posters up in the room and all the albums. Sick. I was that girl. Sickness. Shut up. That's sick. So <laughs> <laughs> I was a fan, but Omarion was never my favorite. That's what the article on Instagram said. That like a lot of girls' favorites was not Omarion. No. Like everybody, and that's what Jay Book put in his post. He's like, you think that you're, you, you, you was the B2K and you was the most famous. Fizz and Jay Book was the most popular. Those the were the most like. Shut up. But like Omarion did have the best name though. I mean, his name is Omari, so it's it's pretty. But much it's still the, same the best thing. performing name. He Lil Fizz. What is that? <laughs> like a like what the pop does when you pour the pop too fast. I don't know. Lil Fizz and Jay Book is crazy. Well, his nickname kind of had a meaning behind it too. But what does it mean? Like I don't, I don't remember. It's something had to do with, like dancing, like boogie or something like that. Like they used to that makes it worse. You, if you named like out the boogie down, that's crazy. Not boogie down, but like that's just something like he. I think he grew up like they was like how they addressed him or something. I don't. Yo, remember. bug. I don't. Yo, J boogie. <laughs> anyways, anyways, Jesus, shut up. You just say that because you don't care for them that much. So like, no, hey, that's still know. a crazy name. I can love them. Say that's crazy. Can we get back to the topic, please? <laughs> so. Like I said, he put in that post, like, you know, you was not the most popular. You was not the, the fan favorite. And you trying to walk around here like, oh, I'm I'm the B2K. Everybody love me. Everybody want me. It's like, no. The reason why a part of your fan da- base is dying uh, is I'm because... tripping. I'm so sorry to y'all. If y'all been watching this video and y'all sitting there looking like, what the heck is that in front of y'all? That's uh, like the next video. We... You, did you want, did you, was you supposed to take that down? <laughs> Yo, that should not have been there this whole time. I'm sorry. We not re-recording that. We're going to hit. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, he he wasn't the fan favorite. Everybody either loved J Bug and Fizz. Sorry, Raz B, you was not a favorite either. But that's <laughs> the reality. Got 
that's the reality of it. So, like, Omarion, like, you really need to, need to humble yourself. Like, oh, I, I, hold on. I'm, I'm sorry, I got to clear that up. Mm-hmm. I laugh and say Raspy got problems. I'm not laughing at what happened to Raspy. I think yeah. what happened to Raspy and supposedly happened to all of them. Mm-hmm. I take that very seriously. Mm-hmm. I'm just talking about all the nuts stuff that he does. He's just, <laughs> he, he, he the uncle that you can't bring around nobody. Like, he always mm-hmm. drunk and rest, messed up the party. But you can go ahead. I'm sorry. I wanted I to clear that up because I said he's crazy. Bit, some mental stuff after everything that happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Stuff, Probably. But... It could be linked to that. I'm yeah. I just wanted to clear that. My bad. Go ahead. But, no, it's fine. Um, But, yeah, so it's just like, dude, like, you need to calm yourself down. Like, you're not as popular as you think you are. Like, you've had a long-lasting career, but really think about it. Most of your biggest hits are not you alone. Like, yeah, you had Icebox, Touch, O, oh, you had those songs, but the your newer songs, like you said, Post to Be, Let Me Hold You, you're, there, there's somebody featured on those songs. Yeah, and I so after he messed up and did that, he started getting exposed left and right. So Jay yeah. Boog exposed him. Then you, I don't know if you remember the song Bedrock with Young Money. Do you oh, remember yeah. that it used to be an Omarion version? Yeah, I heard. And, yeah, I remember that whole story behind that too. Oh, you actually knew the story? Yeah. I never knew the story until recently. Yeah, I knew the story. Okay, so yeah, for the people that don't know, Omarion was on the original song. Mm-hmm. They signed him to uh, the label, mm-hmm. and he leaked the song. He leaked the song. He leaked he the song, and they said, "All right, we want you up out of here. We need Lloyd <laughs> on the song." And the crazy part about it is, Lloyd sounded a thousand times better. Anyway, the song would not have been. It probably wouldn't have been as big as a, it would have because the hook Lloyd is so important to a song. And I think Lloyd gave it that pop. I love Lloyd's singing voice. Mm-hmm. I think Lloyd low key should do a verses if he hasn't. I don't think he has. I don't think so either. I think Lloyd should do one because Lloyd has worked on his vocals just like Mario has. And Lloyd vocals are no joke. When he first came out, his vocals was garbage. <laughs> now he's worked on it. When he came and did lay, lay it down, mm-hmm. the reason why you heard so much energy in his voice is he has spent years working on his vocals. Yeah. Lloyd is a monster. He's somebody like go listen to him sing lay it down live on YouTube or something like that. Mm-hmm. Lloyd can really, really sing and he needs to do it mm-hmm. uh uh too. But they took him off of it for Lloyd, and I think Lloyd made the song a thousand times better. Mm-hmm. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of songs that have two different variants that I always go back to, mm-hmm. like a hypothetical with like Jennis, and he has mm-hmm. Fantasia, and he has the version with um uh Aaron something or whatever her name is. Yeah. I don't listen to that version. I just listen to Fantasia. Yeah, and it's just like that with this song, I don't go back and listen to the Marion version. Yeah. I listen to the Lloyd version. <laughs> I mean, that's the one that was pushed the most too. Same thing with the hypothetical. It, yeah, but it don't, it don't matter if if it, like I listen to the better version in my opinion. Yeah. If it was the other way around, I don't care how much you play it on the radio. I I don't want to hear. It. I don't want to hear. It. I hear you. So I personally think that Lloyd's version was a thousand better, a thousand times better than Marion's. Yeah. Like even the lyrics was just I don't know that it was just so Marion. The hook was just so Marion. So Marion. He said he mean? said he he wrote the hook, and I'm like I could hear that. Cause it's just so Omarion that ooh, I be st- uh, stuck on you like glue. Want to pull up on you something like it was it was trash <laughs> and like Lloyd just expanded it that ooh like I don't know what it is about it that Omarion loves that but he he'll get in that pocket and he want to rhyme everything with ooh I don't know what it is but um <laughs> want to rhyme everything with ooh <laughs> but it's like yo he got crushed he got crushed shout out to Mario I said I want to keep combining them I keep calling them Marion because I mean in, in Mario so, and Omarion so that, that's the other thing that Mario said he's such a savage so I I like again I didn't hear this part but somebody else posted it on Facebook that Mario said you can't spell Omarion without Mario. I seen somebody else say that. I did not hear that in the battle. So I'm like, but I don't know I was, if you again, said it in the battle. In between appointments but and stuff like that. That is hilarious. That is crazy. I, will, I almost forgot before we got off this topic. I almost forgot. Okay. Jeremiah. Now, I heard it may possibly be linked to his COVID case because mm-hmm. he had a serious COVID case and he almost lost his life. So, I'm not trying to be a hope. He sounded terrible and Mario let him know. <laughs> he was like, oh! Mario let everybody know that they sounded stop. terrible. Stop! Y'all sound crazy out here. And I ain't gonna lie, he was right. Because he was like, what did he say? Uh, and we just so we can be. I was like, oh my. He said, somewhere in the closet. I said, stop, bro. Please don't quit your day job, honey. I wasn't even just trying to sing. Just don't. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> because I sound like Jeremiah? What the heck? No, nah, I don't know what that was. Don't okay, that's literally how Jeremiah that. sounded, though. <laughs> so he sounded like a cat trying to sing his vocals. And it was horrible, and I thought it was hilarious that uh, Mario let him know uh, that. 
Yeah. Um, uh, but one thing I said, one last thing. And we can oh, get and Tank was first. crazy. I was about to say Tank. I was just about to mention Tank. I ain't going to stunt with you. Yo, Tank was talking about it can get ugly out there. Like, yo, this, because Mario said this ain't your verses. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I know it could get ugly out here. Like, I'm listening to you sing right now. And ain't nothing you doing better than anything Mario's done all night. Tank. He can sing. He can sing. And you can always hear Tank. Like you you know it's him when you hear his voice because he has that distinctive voice. I still like Mario's voice. But Mario's voice better. Mario shut him down. Yeah, and I'm he's like, sorry. that's basic. He's like, that was basic what you just did. Then do it. Then do it. He's calling you out right there. He's calling you out yeah. for, for helping him or whatever. Like he's calling you out. Well, he told him, he told him to sit down and he sat down. So <laughs> Mario was on fire, bro. Mario was You love to see it, bro. I like to give a dude credit That's when he That's how Versus it. should be. Yep. That's yep. how it should be. Pulling it up very, for It was entertaining. Free. It was entertaining. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, That was so dope. Now we got to talk about this other video.